All right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about how addition, uh, addition, and subtraction, which I don't really like, but okay, are connected. They're really interchangeable, and that's our, that's our focus in this video. Um, so how are they connected? Well, let's say I have a friend named Simon, and Simon's walking along, and he has three apples. And then Ben, being violent, takes two of them away. <laughs> now poor Simon only has one apple left. There it is. Well, couldn't we also just say... Couldn't we also say that um, what Ben did was to add negative two apples to what Simon had, and then Simon still has one left? Hmm, that's interesting. We get the same answer. What does that mean? Well, let me clear this off. I'll use my little bomb tool right here. And there everything goes. What just happened? Well, if 3 minus 1, oops, 3 minus 2 is 1, and 3 plus, that's kind of cool, 3 plus negative 2 is also 1. That means what? Well, it means that 3 minus 2 equals 3 plus negative 2. And why am I showing you this? Well, I want you to realize that these two things are connected. In other words, in the first expression right here, I'm subtracting a positive. I'm really subtracting positive 2. Remember, what Ben did was steal or take two apples from Simon. That's the same thing. Subtracting a positive is the same thing as adding a negative. And this is useful to me because addition has a lot of cool properties, like commutivity. I could switch this order around and get the same answer. I can't really do the same thing with subtraction. So what my suggestion is to you is if you get a problem that looks difficult with subtraction, and that's different for everybody, right? But here, let's say it's negative 1, minus negative 4, minus negative 5, minus 6. Why not change all of these things? To addition. And then you can move numbers around and make your life easier. So maybe what I would do is negative 1 plus 4 plus 5. And then, oh no, what do I do here? Well, I'm going to add negative 6. Now you might not like that move, but I think that's great because now what I could do is take this negative 6 and I could put it anywhere. I mean, I could stick it over here in the middle. I mean, it doesn't really matter because addition's commutative, and that's a pretty powerful tool. So now I can simply solve this, right? Negative 1 and 4 is what? Well, that's, that's just 3. Rewrite my equation, plus 5, and then plus negative 6. Going from left to right, this is 8. And now I'm adding a negative 6. Well, what's that? If I take 6 away from 8, that's 2. And something to keep in mind, and we'll look at this in other videos, is that when you're subtracting, consider adding instead. It's something that really helps. So when you're done, you hit Shift, write this down, Command,